All right, guys. You may or may not have heard of Ayers Rock in Australia. It's kind of a mystery. Let's take a look at it here. It's very, very fascinating to me. When you look on Wikipedia, not that Wikipedia is some God source of information, but let's just see what it says. The rock fragments include basalt. Down here, the oxidation gives the outer surface layer of rock a red brown rusty color. Okay. And of course, the mainstream geologists have a full explanation. Now, the eyewitnesses of the ancient cataclysm say that rocks and hailstones fell to the ground, such as has never been known. This is out of place uh, rock formations, basalt rock in Nevada. And the geologists will tell you, oh yeah, that's uh, from volcanoes that have eroded away and are no longer here. And the geologists will talk about these out of place rocks that were pushed around by glaciers. <laughs> Now, I'm no geologist, but when I try to learn about out-of-place rocks, it gives me a very busy day. Now, talks about petroglyphs being on basalt rocks and I speculate that the survivors of the cataclysm specifically put petroglyphs on the rocks that had fallen that were known to have fallen so that they could tell the story so these falling rocks and hailstones are they from excavated material of the thunderbolts of the gods or are they from Mars or both this talks about igneous rocks being formed from melted rock that cooled and formed solidified rocks we can imagine that happening in a planetary cataclysm. It's talking about the Curiosity Mars rover when it used its powerful laser to zap the fist-sized coronation rock last Sunday. The resulting spark of vaporized materials revealed the rock was made of basalt. Basalt is a common volcanic rock found both on Mars and Earth. And so if we find this basalt rock laying around, how would we know if it's from Earth or Mars? I'm asking questions. I got questions. Scientists think that the most abundant chemical elements in the Martian crust, besides silicon and oxygen, are iron, magnesium, aluminum, aluminum, calcium, and potassium. These elements are major components to the minerals comprising igneous rocks so the same thing as earth igneous rocks right and yet when you try to research martian meteorites and how they determine uh martian meteorites it's almost like a pseudoscience 
Scientists are a step closer to reconciling a mystery on Mars, a cosmic oddity centered on Martian rocks and pieces of the red planet discovered on Earth. The composition of meteorites long suspected to come from Mars have confounded scientists for a long time. Okay. So they're confounded. A Martian meteorite is a rock that formed on the planet Mars and was then ejected from Mars by the impact of an asteroid or comet. So these 132 Martian meteorites that we have found and identified, according to the mainstream scientists, were ejected and traveled 34 million miles and landed here. That's the story. Now, back to the rovers drilling into these rocks. The only meteorite found to match Martian meteorites on Earth is called Bounce Rock, and this is on Mars. It's identical to that of shergotites found on Earth. It was believed to have been injected by impact. It is composed mainly of the volcanic mineral pyroxene. Okay, so like earth rocks this image shows a field strewn with pieces of volcanic rock that are very similar to the scoria found on earth oh okay this image on the left was taken by the mars reconnaissance orbiter outcrop of basalt okay so same thing we have it's Mars on the left Earth on the right and yet we're told there's only 132 Mars meteorites that we have found hmm so do we believe the mainstream geologists and scientists or do we believe the ancient eyewitnesses that say that these hailstones fell during this cataclysm, killing and wrecking, and at the same time a flood and the thunderbolts of the gods, all of it. It would have been difficult probably to view exactly what was going on at certain points of this cataclysm due to the smoke and the fire and the running for your life and the survivors the pockets of survivors are the ones that made the petroglyphs of the plasma stickman plasma and associated forms that they saw in the sky one pocket of survivors turned it into a candlestick menorah so do we believe the geologists even though they are confounded or did it go something like this with Saturn, Mars, and Venus the original Eye of God And was this the mountain of God that is referred to in the Exodus story? Where it says, make the menorah as you are seeing on the mountain of God. The plasma formation that is recreated in the lab. Mountain of heaven, the mountain of God. This descending debris perhaps of plasma, gas, water, material, basalt. And then the text says that a generation of survivors groped around in the darkness. Sounds about like 40 years to me. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.